I can tell him. And if we see a squirrel, we might shoot it. Yep. You gonna be taking trail cameras? Can take us through this too. What? Oh, you found a spider? Yeah. Take it, find a little bit of spider. See? We'll leave him alone. Okay. So we'll be taking trail cameras. Can you guys doing that right now? Let me hit the yet things hard to push. Okay, now pull that one out. Here, push that one in. You gonna make it click? There you go. Now, I'm gonna turn it off, make sure the batteries ain't dead. Look at just a second, Eli. Okay, everything looks good. Batteries ain't dead. Counting down. All right, lock it up. Uh, right, that's good. Okay. All right. So, right up on top of the mountain. There is our hunting house, which I've showed you before. But we did a little more work on it, fixed some of the old tin. Got off of a, I don't know, it just got off the old building we had. I just saved it because I figured I might use it and put us a piece of plexiglass for a window. Oh, you can't see it. Up there on the inside, we take our string, pull it up when we see a deer out there at our feeder. Because it knocks a whole lot of cold air coming in when it gets cold in the morning. Knocks a lot of air off. And since we're up here, I'm going to take a little bit of this molasses and pour it around. I keep it in this bucket because these things leak like crazy. I don't know why. And it's very sticky. So, I'm going to pour a little bit of this molasses. That's all it is. Deers like it and bears like it. Yeah, you can pour it on. Eli's going to pour it on the corn for us. Hold the handle. Don't wipe it on your pants. Here. Let me show you. Let me show you. You have to hit, get a hold of the back back here, Eli, and dump it out. Sorry, guys. Uh, head in's all over the place. Now, dump it out. Grab a hold of it real good. Let me help you a little bit. You hold the top and I hold the bottom. That's good enough. That's all we do. We got this little salt block or lick block. Put a little bit on it too, like that. Deer stuff like it. Makes it smell good. Tracks everything in the woods. You can't jack up that sticky. So. We got that all done, put it back in this bucket. Don't want it to get molasses all over the defender again. So I did that the other day. Now Eli's trying to get off his fingers. <laughs> Alright guys. Now we're gonna walk around a minute see if we see any squirrels. And if we do, we'll start videoing again. See you in a minute. Alright guys, while we was driving around, we see I don't know if you can see him or not. There's a little buck down there. It's a little spike. There he goes. See him running down the hill. He ain't scared a bit of us. See, he was right in the middle of our four-wheeler trail, right there. That's where he was at. You see a deer, Daddy? Yeah, we see the deer. So, I guess since there's deer here, we're going to find another spot to look for squirrels. This is why it's coming to squirrel hunt. We're going to try to find another spot. Alright guys, we got our guns ready. I got the 22. Eli's got the 14. And we come on down the road a little bit. When we just seen that little buck. And I see he was probably bedded down right there. I don't know if you can tell. Can you see the leaves are flat right there. That means he was laying there bedded and I bet we come up to him and jumped him. And then as we come back down, I thought he was standing in the road gonna come back to bed. But 
you can't hardly see it real good, but you can kind of tell there's a little flat spot there in them leaves. So we're gonna go up here, look for some squirrels. We just heard two up there squacking. So we're gonna try to ease up this trail as quiet as we can and try to get us some. As we found us a good spot right here. A few good trees they can squirrels just could eat that up. We're sitting here. I got the heel in front of us where I heard those squirrels minutes ago. So we're gonna stay here for about 20 minutes and see if we can see them start moving after we be still and be quiet. Because I think they're right up there. But we'll see though. If we see one here in a minute, we'll Start video again. All right, we're back at the ride. No squirrels. That's all right. We still might see some driving down this hill here in front of us. So we're gonna keep the guns right here close. That way we can get off and uh, get off the ride real quick and get a shot on one, maybe. You guys put his bullets back up over there. Didn't, Didn't even use one. Not in the world. So hey, Jacob. Hey. Huh. Go down this hill here and see if we might can see one squirrel or two. We're going to get shot on. If not, we're going to go home and check our trail cameras. And if there's something good on there, we'll let you see them. Eli thinks he sees something that has a squirrel might use for a house. He's going to show you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I about guarantee. There might be a squirrel in that hole. Who knows? Alright. But if we don't see any squirrels, we'll see you back at the house checking trail camera. Well, we didn't find no squirrels, but we're going to show you this huge rock up here. Oh, Eva, go up there and stay and next to it. Come right up here. Come this way, bud. We're going to go up here and let us see how big this rock is. It is huge. We've rabbit hunted uh, right down in there. There's a bunch of brawlers and stuff. We've rabbit hunted through here. And the rabbits, they'll actually run up here and go underneath this rock. I guess it's where they're used to hiding at, and you can never find them. Come on, Let's get up here and show them how big this rock is. There, there's Eli, and there's that rock. It is huge. And it's just weird that it's right out in the middle of nowhere by itself. And I'm wanting... To set some traps because trapping season for coon and stuff. I can't remember if it's in right now or if it's close. But I know there see you can see that dirt right there. There's stuff that walks around this rock all the time. And there's a little monster right over there. He's a wild one. Ain't no trap could hold him. Yeah. Could Eli. Yeah. So we'll walk on around this side here. What's his superpower? Screaming your ears out. Screaming your ears out, yep. That's about right. So, and it's just amazing what God can do with uh, with all these, his nature and rocks, trees. See, like, there's trees, they're living on top of that rock right there. I'll get up here where you can see a little better. We can actually see and there's no, there's not much to dirt or nothing for them to even root into, but they are huge, big trees. I don't know how they do it. And right here is a big burl in this tree. I think it's a beech tree. And it is absolutely huge at the bottom of it. And here, here is Eli. I'm going to show you how big this tree is compared to him. Sometimes the camera, you just can't really tell. And that's a huge burl. And I don't really know what makes them. Pretty sure it's a big beech tree, though. But it's pretty cool just coming out here and walking around. Just seeing what you can find. Kind of deer scouting a little bit. See if there's any signs I see. But we're going to go back to the house now. Check our trail camera. And we'll let you see what we find on the computer. We'll get back with you in a minute. Okay, guys. We was riding around. We was trying to find some squirrels. But we rode through this mud hole. And I think I might have run him over on the way in. But anyway. 
mud, little mud turtle. He's still alive. Yeah, he's alive. I don't know if I ran him over or not. I just did just didn't see him on the way in trying to get hold of his tail. A turtle? Oh, whoa, whoa. Little mud turtle. I say little, but he's still pretty good size, but they're not moving around much. It's getting cooler. And he's just he's just chilling. That's about top speed right now. Slow. So don't get close, Jackie, he'll bite you. If he's a little bigger, we'd eat him. Yeah. But that's a lot of work for not much meat. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna put him on the other side in that deeper hole. Put him over so maybe nobody runs over him to his trail. This trail gets a lot, quite a bit of traffic, people rides, stuff, so. Just gonna see him right there, let him do his thing. That's pretty cool. Oh, and there he goes in the water. That's where they like it. That's pretty neat. So, but we still ain't seen me squirrels. It's pretty. It's getting windy in spots, so. Yeah, we found a turtle, didn't we? All right, guys. Now, we're heading home this time for sure, I promise. We'll show you our trail camera pictures. All right, guys. Here I am looking at the trail camera pictures. That was the last. That's when I put out the corn and the acorn raid block. That's what we was using for see what kind of pictures we can get. A bunch of those. Oh yeah, I was gonna show you this picture. I do have one good buck on here. That was uh, a. See, let me find it here. It was a that as a nighttime picture. Somewhere through here. There he is. That's a pretty good buck, right there. Tell if that's the same. Yeah, that's him right there. He looks like he's really wide. I've never seen that deer before on camera. But he was just there that one night. And of course, I didn't have much corn in there, so hopefully he comes back again because the rifle season starts Saturday. Okay, this was the date is right. And the time is wrong because I haven't changed it since the time went back yet. So we're like an hour off. So, a bunch of does. I was trying to see what that is. Can you tell if it's a bug or a doe? It's probably just a doe. Since all that was here. But you never know though. Could have been a butt. Yeah. Bunch of crows. I have a lot of does. I think I've got like five at one time here in a minute. We'll see. That was two mornings ago. Bunch of does. Look at all those does. It's five at one time there. That small one could be a button butt, can't tell because it's you just can't really tell. A raccoon. I'm gonna try to trap him too. Corn costs a lot to just to be feeding it to a coon. Now this was this morning. That was this morning at 5.30, it says 6.25, so it'll be 5.25. And there's at 7.15. It says 8.15, but remember we're an hour off. So there was a bunch of does there this morning. That's one, two, three, four. Probably them same five that's been traveling together for a while now. But 
Uh, yeah, I'm out of doubt. I know that. And my computer's froze up. There we go. That's it. It's me and the boys checking the cameras. So, that's it. Nothing real exciting. But, I'm going to do another video probably tomorrow. I might try to go squirrel hunt again. And, we'll see you next time. Our boy adventures.